Now what caterpillar could this be? Now if you said, wow, that's probably some kind of looper, Geometride, then congratulations, you are wrong. Nope. What we're looking at here is my new project. And this is the breeding of the blue underwing, the Catocala fraxini. Um, I'm feeding them poplar leaves, which is one of their favorite food plants. Now, as you can see, you can see why some people will confuse these caterpillars with the Geometridae. Because the way that they walk, it looks like a looper caterpillar. But not many people know the first life stages of many Erebidae moths have an identical walk to those of loopers. So it's not the geometrid, it's the Catocala fraxidi. Now this is the, um, one of the biggest species of moths that can be found in my country, the Netherlands. It's very rare where I live. Although in some places in Europe it is still a very common moth. But uh, I guess it differs per country of course. And this is a special project to me. Why? Well, I tried to read this one several times in my life. And every time I failed before, which was uh, saddening. Oh wow, I have to be careful, some are trying to escape. C come here. Let's put you back. Yeah, I do have to be careful. Yeah, it's back, okay. So some of you are wondering why is it that I failed before? I will say I have no idea, but I tried using different plants in the past. Uh, as their name implies, Catocala fraxini. One of their food plants is ash tree, fraxinus. But for some reason I never got, uh, got them to eat that very well. So last time my experiment failed because of this but this time I'm using a different approach with a different food plant and this time they really seem to like it they're eating better than ever so um, I'm satisfied with that although it's very early to count my chickens because this is basically day number three and they have many months more to go before they turn into moths uh, the blue underwing is a moth with beautiful blue hind wings. You don't see that very often, blue wings in a moth, but it's one of them. Look at that, it's so cute. Ah, there you go. It's there, quite enjoyable to watch. Their little silly walk is funny, but I'm gonna close the lid now. Because it's time to put them to rest. Because uh, these caterpillars like eating in the darkness preferably. Plus they are very good at escaping. So thanks for watching this update. And uh, like and subscribe. So you can perhaps see the fully grown caterpillars and moths this year. If I am successful.